Hi guys, so today's video is just kind of a random video of items that I picked up recently at a couple of markets here locally in San Diego. I believe they have some of these markets like in New York and New Jersey and you know some other states. It just depends. Okay, well, um, let me try to thought on that one. But either way, there are uh, several in different uh, states. Um, I first had gone to a market kind of like what I, I'm going to talk about in just a moment here, but um, in Hawaii, and it was Don Quixote, and I was like, I really want to go there, and it's like a Japanese-based uh, supermarket, and some people compare it to Walmart. I mean, it has just a ton of stuff. I, I don't even know that I would say, like, Walmart. It's like a big grocery store that carries other stuff, too. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Uh, they have fresh food like they've already prepared, and then obviously, like, vegetables and things, and all kinds of imports from Japan, and just really great. And when I got home, I, well, when I was there, I bought a, a ton of, like, food items, really Really, that's all I bought from Hawaii, and I'll do a whole other video on that later. Um, I just uh, need to go through my stuff that I picked up as souvenirs. I didn't get too many souvenirs, it was mostly food items, because that's the kind of thing I prefer and I like, and um, a lot of bags and stuff like that, because I always use bags, or like, um, just some general items that I would probably use around the house more than anything. Uh, but when I got here, I was like, oh, I wonder if we have a Don Quixote, because San Diego has a lot of different stores and a lot of Asian stores and markets and things. And I looked it up, and on Don Quixote's website, I guess the company name is like Doni Doni or something. They own now Marukai Market and Tokyo Central um, out here uh, in L.A. and San Diego. Well, all of the markets, those markets, I suppose, is what it sounds like. Even the look of them is very much the same. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, and they definitely had a lot of the same things. And you know, I bought all kinds of items in Hawaii, brought them over here with me, uh, food items, and I could have just had them here basically, which is very interesting. But um, if anything's available like on Amazon or somewhere like that, I'll link it in the description box. And those will be affiliate links to me. So I'll make small commission if you're purchasing items to those links. Um, a lot of these things, are super random and uh, basically you're going to find them more at Asian stores so hopefully you have one near you. Um, yeah and you know I, I think I usually go to H Mart it's a Korean market um, Marukai and these other ones are more Japanese markets there's 99 Ranch out here which is more of a Chinese market although they do carry things from different parts of um, I guess Asia and things like that um, they just you know focus on different things right so um, the other one that's also not associated with it but near the Marukai market out here in San Diego is Mitsuwa, which is a Japanese um, market that my son likes to go to, like with his girlfriends, for more trendy, I suppose. The pricing, I think, was better at Marukai. He says the other prices were better. I don't know. And then the food was really good at Mitsuwa. It's just like chunkier looking. I don't know how to explain it. I'll have some pictures if I can uh, share those with you in just a moment. But um, if I recall, because I didn't really buy much at Mitsua, they didn't have a lot of the groceries I was looking for. I was looking for more things that I would have found at Marukai. And that market, and Marukai is separated out here in a different way because I guess it used to be different stores and obviously they're, you know. So Tokyo Central has like all the cute stuff like cute Hello Kitty things and like Gundam stuff and like One Piece, I don't know, like all these things that the kids are into. <laughs> um, uh, beauty supplies and like household goods as far as like uh, appliances. And then in that same block, it's that same parking lot, is Marukai Market and then Marukai just I think it just said Marukai on it. So one of them has the like dry goods, so like snacks and other things like that. And the other one has like the vegetables, the meat, the prepared foods and all these kind of things. So like you just park and then you can go into the different stores, you know. Uh, I, of course, went to the grocery store last because I don't like buying cold things and then waiting for, you know, <laughs> to do other things. I, I want to get home with my cold stuff and get it in the freezer and the fridge as fast as I can. So, um, and then Mitsuwa has everything under one roof, at least to here. So I know in L.A., obviously, Marukai is its own big store that has everything all at once. Um, it just depends, I guess, on how the company was purchased or whatever. I don't know. Uh, the stores, right? Because um, I believe Marukai has been around. It's just that more recently, um, Don Quixote bought them out or something. I don't know. Something like that. That's what I gather from the information I was looking at. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you a Hawaii uh, haul very soon. But for right now, I just brought these out because Miranda loves these. And we get these all different places. But they are pretty inexpensive at a store like Marukai or Mitsuwa. So it's some Calpico drinks. Uh, funny enough, there's a candy that Miranda likes to eat called Caplico. So it's C-A-P-L-I-C-O and this is C-A-L-P-I-C-O. But... I don't know where those names come from or what they mean, but uh, very interesting. So this is the original flavor. It's just a drink. It has a little milkiness to it, but it's really fresh and bright and yummy, and the kids love them. I think uh, we had a lychee one that Miranda already drank, but I grabbed a couple of mango. As you can see, it's non-carbonated. They're just beverages. Um, you, if you see them, try them out. They're really, really good. Um, sweet, but not super sweet. Eh, I 
don't know. I guess it depends on the flavor, <laughs> but um, they're they're pretty good. So I just want to show you guys these. Again, you can find these pretty much anywhere nowadays. Um, so hopefully you'll find some. But there were a lot more flavors uh, than just the ones I grabbed here. I grabbed the ones that I know we prefer. But um, just some fun drinks. Uh, along with that, I did grab some Hawaiian sun drinks, and I'm gonna go grab one. Although I did grab four six packs at Mitsua. These are at Mitsua and Marukai. I think I bought these at Marukai. But um, let me get the ones that I picked up. Um, the Hawaiian Sun that I also got at Marukai. Mostly everything I'm going to show you here is from Marukai and Tokyo Central. I'll be right back. My little fridge, my little drink fridge that holds my wines and my drinks, um, my sodas and things. Um, this is so good. So you might find these like at Ella Hawaiian or like different uh, restaurants and they want like two or three dollars for each one and basically a six pack was four ninety nine. and sometimes when they're on sale obviously they'll be a better price. I know when I bought them in Hawaii on base which we had to go on base to get some tickets that, for some discounts that we had uh, purchased. Uh, the military base there, the Marine Corps base, they were on sale for three ninety nine a six pack, and I was like, "What?" So I bought two six packs while we were there and just had them as drinks, or we kind of mix them with some rum sometimes. Uh, the one I like to mix with rum, I'll tell you, is the orange pineapple because it already has orange and pineapple, which is basically the base of a mai tai, and you can just make yourself a quick little mai tai, even though it's not really. It's like a muck mai tai. Um, so this is a little koi passion fruit. It's called little koi passion which is funny because lily koi means passion fruit anyway so anyway so these are yummy so i grabbed a couple of these i grabbed an orange pineapple and i think i grabbed a mango no a guava a guayaba one they call it guava but a guayaba flavor one and again really great pricing i mean at 4.99 for a six pack for this is really good um even stateside right i mean that's or even over there in Hawaii, because that's basically what they run. Um, yeah, so these are just really yummy, so I just want to show you those if you find them. Uh, they are not um, bubbly, yeah, it says they're not carbonated. It does say shake well, which is interesting, because I never shook them, because I was, a, you know, it's a can, we're not used to shaking them, but yeah, it's not carbonated, so it's just a fun, good drink. Uh, let me grab some other fun Great. items. Too far from the drinks. These are some other drinks. So I've picked these up before at like, H Mart, the Mr. Brown Caramel Latte and the iced coffee. Um, I want to say this one doesn't have milk. It was hard to find one that didn't already have like milk in it. Um, but yeah, I think this one's just, let's see, dry whole milk. There it is. It's really hard to find one that's just like dark coffee or without milk. And then the Hawaii Kona ones blend coffee with milk. Um, they're all very yummy. So these are the ones I prefer. I mean, they have tons of brands. I was looking for another one that's just called Kona. It's kind of smaller. It's smaller than this. They just didn't have any. But um, these are really yummy if you happen to come across these. Or like the milk tea and the royal milk teas. They're white with like blue labeling, like blue flowers. Those are so good too. But I've had those, so I didn't want to pick those up this time. I just want to try these guys out. I'll put these back in my mini fridge in just a minute. But um, one other thing people like and the kids like. Mochi. So these are Japanese rice cakes. Um, it just says rice cake, which is interesting. A lot of times it will say mochi. I don't think this says that. Oh, these are daifuku. Of course, some of these things I'm probably not pronouncing correctly, so no worries. But we have lychee, we have strawberry, and my son already opened uh, a melon one. Now, I've never actually tried these. I tried something similar, but not this exactly exact thing. So let me go bring the other one that my son already opened it, and I'll take a little bite, and we'll try those out. Unfortunately, I didn't have a bag right now that was big enough to put these in, keep them fresh, because uh, I'll show you what's really fun about these guys. So this is melon, and I don't know if you see this melon. They had this at Marukai and at Mitsua, and they wanted $150 for it. <laughs> I do not know what kind of melon this is. It must be very fancy, or just the cost of bringing it. I don't know, but it must be amazing. So, we have melon rice cake here. But yeah, it's some kind of melon in, I think, like $229. I think they had it for $159. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about dollars, <laughs> like $160. So, look at this. Look at how squishy it is! Isn't that cute? And that's pretty much why people love to eat these. So I cut it down so it could fit in there. That's why this is like this. But let's try it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, well if you like marshmallows, you're gonna like this. But it's softer than a marshmallow. And this is the thing. People don't really talk about the texture of these things. They're just like, oh, that's so good, and then they move on. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a fresh, like, cantaloupe. Not kidding, like, doesn't taste like a fake flavor, it tastes like a very <laughs> fresh kind of, I'm very averse to, like, fake flavors when something's, like, strawberry, but it tastes like, like, strawberry flavoring, you know what I'm saying? This tastes super fresh, like, you're literally biting into cantaloupe, but obviously not as juicy. I don't know what that little white part is, maybe it's sweetness. I don't think the outside, the outside is just sweet. 
doesn't really have flavor to it. So that white part is more creamy than that flavor is coming from that very middle part. And look at how fun this is. So I have recipes to make my own. I don't know that I could ever make it. I'd rather just buy it. These are like five bucks, I think, a package. And honestly, I probably wouldn't eat more than one. This is very sweet. And that's what took me so long to make this video. I went over, over the weekend. But, um... I just was like, when can I sit here and eat a bunch of snacks in front of you guys or for you guys to try them out? So I will finish this off camera. This is really good. Okay, A plus. Totally recommend them. Uh, I'll be right back. Some totally random things. I picked these up. Pretty much everything I'm going to show you is from Marukai until I say it's from Mitsuwa, okay? And at the end, Tokyo Central, even though Tokyo Central and Marukai are owned by the same company at this point. Um, I don't know, you see this little bite out of that bread? I just ripped some off because I picked this up um, on purpose went there literally looking for this bread so I can make um, strawberry cream sandwiches and I wanted this thicker bread and sometimes they call it Pullman bread and there's different names it's a little bit sweet I don't know how to explain this bread to you it feels drier to me but it's sweeter and a little spongier it's not as thin like our bread when you spread peanut butter it's gonna rip this one is not like that um, Miranda really loved it for her peanut butter sandwiches and she's super picky and doesn't like trying anything new so I didn't say anything to her about it but I just gave it to her and she was like oh it's so good so I'm like good because Oh, this girl. So picky. So I'm going to make the sandwiches from this. And this is just, I just wanted to try it. As you can see, they're the same thing. They're just sliced differently, thin and thicker. So I'll put that back in the kitchen in just a moment. Um, another bakery item are these little guys. And these just look yummy. And my son already started eating them, so I opened the bag a little bit. It says... What is it? Family cake is what it says. And on the back it just says wheat cake. Um, and I just read what's in it and sound fine to me. So <laughs> it's just like a vanilla little cupcake. And they are very yummy and they're very light and cute and adorable. So just something to try out, you know? Sometimes when I try uh, breads from other like um, cultures and things, a lot of times they might be eggy or something, just something different, right? And these are really nice. Um, I didn't find them too eggy or anything like that. So hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about whenever I say that. Even within like the Mexican bread I like to buy, sometimes some companies have more of a egg taste to it or like a pato choux where it's very eggy. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, it's not my favorite, but that's very good. Okay, some random things my son picked up and I'm gonna show you guys these just a front load here. He picked up this fish, jerky kind of thing. It's, I don't, you know, I'm probably not gonna pronounce it right, but yaki anago shichimi? maybe uh if you pronounce it with a ch you know i don't know but it's conger eel it is dried and has sugar salt pepper and citric acid msg of course to punch up that flavor i don't know if he's gonna end up liking this because my son does like salty things in mexican culture we do have like little like shrimps and little salty things that we like to eat um but these normally have like a sweet flavor to them so we'll see if he ends up liking that because he chose this and I've always wanted to try this. I think it's really cute. Even in Hawaii they had it where like people would make them fresh, right? This cute little kaniko, and even right now I can smell it, it smells like like the ocean. <laughs> like uh, salty sea air. They're little tiny crabs, you guys. <laughs> you just eat them. The only thing is they are covered in like a sweet kind of covering. Look at the little eyeballs. <laughs> there you go, that's his head, his face. They usually have the little legs. And what's funny is I can eat these little legs. My son opened it a couple days ago. And they do have a sweetness to them. They taste like oceany, you know, kind of thing. The inside of the body does have obviously other things in there and it does give a different flavor. The only thing is we really like, if these were salty, I would have eaten the whole bag because they're crunchy and they're crispy and they're delicious, but they're sweet. So it is a different kind of taste where it's like ocean, seafoody, but with that sweetness on it. So it's not something that I prefer. And then even my son was like, oh, he he can't continue eating them. But I mean, if you read the back, it does say it has sugar, but it does say, you know, sweet rice and rine, of course, MSG. And oh, I guess that's it. So uh, I thought it said soy sauce. Mm. Yeah, soy sauce. So I thought it'd be even a little bit salty. It's not even salty. They're just very sweet <laughs> and different, but I feel bad to just toss them because I don't like wasting things. So maybe I'll just eat the little legs. Like I said, the little legs were yummy and then we'll see what happens with the rest of them. Uh, but I did want to show you those because they are very cute and very funny. I think I love the packaging. I thought they were adorable. Uh, let me put these things away. I'll be right back. If those cuties were salty or spicy, I would be all over it. So I was thinking maybe I should just th try throwing some lime and chile on them and see if maybe 
maybe it'll dress it up for like the, my taste, right? Um, but who knows? So they have this cute little uh, pocky. This actually was from uh, Mitsuwa. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, it just it was a cute whole like kit of pocky. It has nine boxes in there, and it came with a little mascot guy for his spring. Look at his little eyes are even pink, cause like a lot of white bunnies are like that, right? Like color bunny stuff. So that was very interesting. Um, with little pocky and his little scarf, and then of course the pockies, which are just yummy sticks. They're dipped in different flavorings. So this one's like matcha, strawberry, all the classics, the um, cookies and cream, and then just the regular ones. There's more of those uh, with the chocolate. And again, it's just a little crunchy, like cookie stick dipped in chocolate. Um, I did grab these. They're uh, Marukai, and. I was curious. I'm not even sure what this was. I love a nice tin, and I got a few tins. Um, one other thing I'm going to say is real quick, in California we have warnings on everything. The only thing is it doesn't tell you like if the food itself has something in it or is it the paint, right? The coloring, the packaging. So it's like, uh, so you kind of just have to go with your gut. What are you going to do? Um, and people always say like, oh, California has too many warnings, which is fine. I appreciate it. I would just want them to be more specific. <laughs> That'd be great because uh, that would definitely help me out. So there are a lot of items that I didn't grab because I was like, eh, I better not. But some things I'm just like, okay, I'll just go with it, you know? So let me open this up and I'll be right back. It has a little wrapper all around. So this is a cookie tin, but I'll be right back. Let's check this out. Oh, how pretty. A gorgeous little booklet. And I'm not gonna like, these were, I think gonna be $30, but they were on sale for half price, a little bit less than half price. Um, so yeah, these are some fancy things. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you know, I can't even eat. I was gonna try one for you guys, but like vanilla almond, look at this, looks crunchy. I love the outside, it has like a wafer. This one looks like more of a, shortbread and then like a, I would say langue de chat which is a French thing I think it means cat tongue <laughs> but uh, they roll them up like this but it's just some of them are long like this um, and flat um, I guess kind of like the uh, Milano's I guess shape nuts berry heart Ooh, that sounds yummy and then look at this chocolate crunch I mean these are just very pretty and very fancy Ooh, look at this little chocolate ball is what it looks like it says very pretty so I was curious about that one there's two of each of those very very nice elegant gift um, let's see uh, milky stuff I love anything milky that little girl is from the um, little character that they do that is on the milky products this says it's a baked biscuit and I have not tried these, so let's open this guy up and see what this is about. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a nice can here. Oh, how cute! And even within that, it has a little bag of, like, um, Maria's and, uh, I don't know what they call them, another Maria's cookies that look just like this. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a little sweetness kind of cookie. Really cute. I don't really want to open these because then I'm gonna have all these snacks open. So I don't want to. I want to keep this fresher. Obviously, I open this up, but this one looks like a basic cookie. I don't think we need to actually sample it. But how cute is the can? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll bear back a few other little cans. This one also was about 15 bucks, and I cannot pass up a nice can. You guys like this tin? is super cute. So you can see the little cookies are these little guys. And let's see what they're filled with. Oh, look at the little sticker. Oh my goodness. Ribbon biscuits. A small biscuit in the shape of ribbon was printed on puppet-like cute Sanrio characters and ribbons. There are 30 types of printing patterns in total. So um, just like um, if you like the little panda cookies, if you really look at them, the characters are doing different things that are printed on there. You think they're all the same, but see how they have different characters? That's the same thing to do with panda. How cute. And I guess what they mean is like a bow shape, right? A bow cookie and it says ribbons. And they're probably filled with chocolate or something. Caramel color, let's see, made in facility. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't really say. Uh, oh, with using Hokkaido milk. Hmm. Anyway, very cute. And then this is a Hello Kitty uh, tin. And look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I had no idea what this was going to look like because they only had them like that, but I could tell that it was a tin. Um, let's open this one up. I'll be right back. Let's open this cutie up. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was going to try these for you. If they were sealed, I was going to go ahead and open it. But you know what? They're open already because they already had some packaging. How cute. Oh, they smell so good. It's like vanilla shortbread-y kind of scent. It smells like um, the cookies I make like if I was to make roll-out cookies. So let me try this guy. Oh, my gosh. 
That is so crispy and so good. I can't even explain to you how crispy this is. Maybe you can hear it. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. Very vanilla, very buttery. Better than those Danish cookies, I will say. You know, you can get those Danish cookies like at different CVS and like the Dollar Tree and things like that. No, these are better than that. These feel fancy. I don't know how to explain that other than they feel very fancy. I'm gonna finish this one, I'll be right back. Okay, that was very yummy and there were two layers. There's the top layer and then the bottom layer. This is just some peach tea that I thought was super cute. Again, in a tin, and I'm assuming they're either circular tea bags or whatever, but um, I mean, that is too adorable. It says it's also Sanrio. Um, oh, this is random. So I did have stuff for like the kitchen. So roasted shredded seaweed, just something cute to put on top of my food as I'm cooking, you know, or presenting my plates there. And this is, uh, oh, I think this is a mirin. Yeah, so it says vinegar for sushi, but it did say mirin uh, out there. And you know what? It says refrigerate after opening. That's interesting because I have other mirins that I do not have in the fridge. And now I'm thinking, did I not read that right? If that's the case, I guess I'll toss them and keep just this one. <laughs> that's not good. Um, okay. Now that I think about it, was this the one that said mirin? Or maybe it is just um, sushi vinegar. Either way. I have all my vinegar some like out and put them away so hmm, I'll have to check on that. This is something that people just really love. I've never tried Melty Blend so we should go for the basic one. I thought I got two flavored ones. Are these all the same? Just the strawberry? <laughs> okay well then that's what I did. So let's try these guys. When you open these up they're individually wrapped is what I've seen in the past. Oh we can open this whole thing right. I didn't want to tear it in the wrong way. How cute is that? It has some little info. <laughs> And your little chocolate here. And supposedly it's really just like soft and airy on the inside. So let me try this. Oh yeah. Maybe I should have bit it for you guys. It, it, it's um, it's like a lint. You know the lint candy bar is not just the lint like truffles, but the longer ones. It tastes very much like a truffle, even though the outside has a little bit of powder. And it's super soft on the inside. Where you can't differentiate like the outer shell it's not really a shell, and then the inside just kind of disappears. Really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, just like they're showing here, just like those lint bars. Really good. Um, these aren't too bad. I think they're on sale for two for three fifty, so two boxes. And like I said, they're individual wrap, which is very good for portion control. Just throw them in your bag or whatever. I have another pack of these, so let me. No, actually, yeah, I think I do. Well, hold on, let me see if I have another pack of this same thing. I'll be right back. A lot of randomness here. So this one. These are like these wafer, it says whipped chocolate sandwich with cookie and gaufrette, which I suppose is a French word. Um, it's like a wafer, and if you get them really fresh, they're going to be nice and crispy. Of course, you know, we're out here, and they come from Japan, and I don't know how, you know, fresh they are when they're sent out or whatever, right? So, um, again, <laughs> this product can expose you to chemicals. Oh my, oh my gosh. Um, and this is a similar thing. This one has the different flavors, though, in it, where this one is just all chocolate, because um, they did have these individually, but I was like, oh, I should try them each. You know, green tea, dark chocolate, strawberry, and milk chocolate. And so, you know what? I'll just open this. Hopefully they're individually wrapped, which is something a lot of Japanese foods are, so there it is. And look how pretty. They even have a, like, a little separator in there to keep everything nice and orderly. Oh my gosh, this feels very fancy. Let's try this guy out. And hopefully it's still nice and crunchy and crispy. It is thicker than I imagined. See on the top it's very thick and then this bottom one is a little bit different. Oh, that's interesting. Let's take a bite. Oh my gosh. That is the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I love wafer stuff, and I probably showed you in other halls with Mexican food where we buy this thing, it's called Lea, and it's just like um, basically like this thing, but thinner. And it's kind of like um, an ice cream cone, like waffle batter, I guess, like those little thin ice cream cones, but like the, by like the um, cake cones, more like that than the sugar cone. And it's just real thin, and you can just eat it. I mean, you can eat the whole package, and it's like no big deal, right? Because I don't know, that's how I ate it. Um, just a bunch of little thin layers of that. I actually have some I can show you if I think to do that in a minute. Um, but this is thicker. And then this one, again, has something different, right? Because you can see it's a different thing. But this is crunchy and delicious, and I love ice cream cones just like that anyway. <laughs> so, like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, well, 
I'm gonna take a couple more bites and put this away and I'm looking forward to trying the other flavors. And it is crispy, crunchy, it does not taste stale, it tastes like super fresh, I, like this is so good. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll be right back. I cannot believe how good that is. So, some more random stuff, like, um, again, for cooking. We have these, um, but it's basically bonito flakes. I don't know if this one, yeah, this is dried skipjack tuna. And I'm assuming bonito, yeah, it contains bonito, it says, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, you can use this to help you with your stocks. You can throw it on your food. This is the kind of thing my son, if I have rice and he isn't in the mood for whatever, he'll just throw some of this on top, maybe with a little chile oil or something. And it's good. I mean, it's just dried tuna flakes and they're yummy. What are you going to say? Um, so that's that. Peanut butter. Um, these look like little crunchy snacks. Hopefully you can see that. And it says they're peanut butter flavor. So this is just something I want to try out. So I grab them. Probably not going to open it right now because, I mean, you can kind of see they're like puffed rice cereal kind of thing. But the peanut butter flavor. I did grab some basic things like Sapporo um, Ichiban Tonkatsu Ramen, uh, one of my favorite flavors here. And then this one, I just wanted to try it. It said miso ramen. I'm like, oh, I've never tried their miso. So a lot of times you'll find this at the grocery store by itself, just like single packs. So I like to find them in big packs like this. And sometimes like at bigger stores or like H Mart, you might even find a whole case of them, right? So I put those to the side. We're almost to the end of this haul. Oh, another food item here. We have some shiitake mushrooms. Um, again, you just boil some water, let these reconstitute, cut them up and use them in your recipes. So um, just something nice to have on hand because again, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't have regular mushrooms or whatever. Um, these are just good. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's what I got. So I like to have them on hand. And then these guys, I have been so curious of this because people show these in all these different hauls and nobody actually eats them or opens them. They all say, oh, this is something I used to eat when I was a kid. They're so good. Can't really explain what they are, you know, kind of thing. So those guys, these are just um, rice candy. I think they call them botan rice candy. I'm not 100% sure right now, but they're different flavors. So I had never seen the pineapple ones. I always see these guys. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're just, yeah, botan. Uh... They're just little candies. I don't know. It's made from, again, glutinous rice, starch. They're like a little chewy. Uh, you know, I don't know. But those are things you see more often, so I'll just put those to the side. These guys. And I was always curious because I had some seaweed ones that weren't my favorite. And then it says potato or it says P-O-T-E. And like on here it says corn potage. And this one's chocolate. Now, if you look at the flavor names, you're like, ah, so if it is corn, because nobody really explains to me what it is, it'll be interesting. This one was soup flavor, which is more like their basic. And then they had like teriyaki and like maybe a shrimp or a squiddy flavor. So this one being chocolate is kind of interesting, especially if it's potato. But let's open this one and give it a go. This is literally like $3 for this huge package of a whole bunch of them. And it feels like something rolled up. Oh, you know what? Now that I feel it, I feel like somebody had said it's like a big Cheeto. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how accurate that is. Oh, I see. So maybe, but it has a hole in the center. It is kind of like a big Cheeto, <laughs> but it's a corn snack. So let me try this. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay. It tastes like corn like straight up like corn like if you're biting corn <laughs> but it has a very like corn chowder you know what i'm saying when you eat corn chowder it has like a little milkiness to it or something i don't know how to explain it not like a cheeto i mean it is close to a cheeto i guess the texture but fluffier than that right it's not crunchy it's more fluffy and literally tastes like corn chowder oh that's probably why it said soup right <laughs> so corn soup okay that makes sense and this one's supposed to be chocolate you know what i'm gonna try it just Let's be adventurous with a chocolate potato kind of thing. How cute is the packaging though? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, what I mean by chocolate is that it is covered in chocolate. I don't know what the base flavor is. So again, it's probably just potato. Ah. That is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to compare or relate to something in the US you might have tasted. This one does taste more like like a puffed rice snack, you know, like um, honey smacks, but without the honey maybe, but that little ricey kind of flavor and that lends to sweetness and then it has that chocolate. These are amazing. Both of these, I, I honestly, I'm probably tending more towards this one, but the kids are gonna like both of them. So I'm happy as long as somebody eats them. I don't like, you know, buying things, especially if they're like, oh, so I'll just end up eating it because I don't want to waste. Um, 
<gasps> These are so good. Highly recommend. All right, I'll bring it back. Bags here. I don't know where to put them so I can make sure to grab everything. Um, there. Okay, so these are some little snacks. They have these. These are like ubiquitous. This is made in Japan. Bite-sized doriyaki strawberry flavor. They're like little sandwiches. <laughs> like treats. Um, like a pancake? I don't know how to explain it. But look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I'm kind of maxed out, but I'll just open it and try one. Ooh, I smell strawberry already. It has a little silica pack. Do not eat that. <laughs> Looks like two little pancakes. Okay, so this is interesting. It's kind of like a muffin top, right? So it has like a little thickness to it. It's not just like, like a muffin top. It has a little bit of an alcoholic taste to it, which is interesting. It tastes very strawberry. It does not taste like fake strawberry. It tastes very strawberry. So that's good. That's good. Maybe not the best thing I've ever tasted in my life, but they have like 15 different brands of these. So, you know, I just chose one. So who knows if the one I chose is like a better one or just whatever kind of basic. Very good. Definitely worth a try. Of course, Miranda had to grab some pop and cooking. I think I had, she already has like three or four from H Mart the other day. So I told her she can just pick one. So this is one she picked, I believe. Yeah. And she also picked these guys, even though we have Hello Panda here, we just don't have the strawberry one. So she picked herself a little strawberry one. Those are yummy. It's just a cookie outer shell kind of thing. Oh, more cooking items, some ponzu sauce. Not I probably could have found this anywhere, but you know what? Actually, at my local market, I don't really see the ponzu sauce. Obviously, it's Kikoman. You can find that brand everywhere, but ponzu sauce is not the easiest thing to find. And this is uh, ketchup. So I grabbed this because in Mexico, whenever I go to Mexico, when I used to, haven't gone there in a long time, it's not super safe. <laughs> but, um... And uh, their ketchup is different. And I don't know if it's because they don't put it in the fridge or because it's just made different, but it's kind of like more liquid. It's not a liquid, not like a salsa or like a chile. It's still ketchup, right? It's thicker, but it's just thinner than ours. And it just tastes so good. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the eggs being fresher or something. The eggs with some ketchup on them is so yummy. I know a lot of people think, oh, eggs and ketchup. Yeah, scrambled eggs with ketchup. <laughs> okay, guys. I usually put syrup on my eggs because I'm just gross. But ever since I was little, I used to like when the syrup would kind of touch my egg, scrambled egg, like if I was having pancakes. So and then I just started putting syrup right on them. So that's still how I eat them. I know. Ketchup and scrambled eggs is very yummy. So I grabbed this because I was curious to see if there's a difference, you know, what the difference is. Or if it's maybe similar to the one from Mexico, I'd be really happy about that. Got some hondashi. So you can put that in. It's basically a bonito soup stock. So those bonito flakes I showed you, you can make your soup stock with it. And this is just a quicker... Well, I don't know if it's quicker. It's just different, right? Um, oh. This is so cute. This has 24, I think it has 24 packs of miso soups in it and supposedly they're different flavors. So as you can see, some are like green onion and one has like green onion with tofu. And then the other one, when they say wakame or it has like seaf uh, seafood, seaweed. Um, this is a little bit different kind of, I'm not sure if that's tofu or the dried tofu. It looks like, to me, it tastes like tofu, but it probably isn't. These little pieces here, you guys can let me know. This one looks like it has maybe some other kind of onion in it, but it tells you on the back the different flavors. Yes, yeah, so wakame seaweed, fried tofu. See, that's why that one looks different. This one is tofu, but it has like little holes because it's fried. Green onion and then tofu. And there's 24 packs in here, and this was like three bucks. So I was like, you gotta be kidding. So obviously it makes a small bowl, I think. But I think it's gonna be really cute. And Miranda loves having, you know, her little... So, oh, two-thirds of a cup of water, so it's a th two-third cup uh, serving, so not bad. Just a little something. Mm -hmm. I've been making a lot of Hawaiian recipes recently, and um, most of them ask you for this. Alea? Alea? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sea salt. And um, so I just grabbed both of them because I don't know if it makes a difference that this one's like a orangey pinky color and this one's just regular. This one doesn't say the same thing, right? See where this one says that? This one just says sea salt. So I'll try both of them. They're both fine. Um, yeah. So I'm glad to have that. I love how in the back it says meets USDA, uh, FDA, and food chemicals codex requirements for food use instead of saying like, hey, this might cause cancer. <laughs> so let's put that to the side. These look yummy, so I had to grab these sulfur, sulfur pineapple rings. They had unsulfur pineapple rings too. They looked a little different. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what the difference is other than one has sulfur and the other one didn't. But I went and hang out these because these look more familiar to what I normally eat. Um, oh, 
and these are just butter biscuits. I grab these everywhere I go. This is actually a smaller pack for the price. I mean, this is very small. This is a huge pack of biscuits. So these are going to be laying down like this when they're usually side by side, sitting up and like a ton of them for a dollar or two. <laughs> these were, I think, three bucks for this many, but I wanted to try them. So there it is. This is also something I picked up in Hawaii that they have at the Motokai Market, the Hawaiian, Hawaii's Best Creamy Coconut Bread Pudding Mix. I also got one to make halpia and some other things. So kind of interesting. Oh, this is microwave in 10 minutes. What? Okay, well, I'd rather bake it. I'm, you can microwave things, and I've done it before in the past here, even on the channel, but um, if I can bake it, I'll, I'll bake it instead. And what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, this is the other one. This is, uh, ooh, does it say on there the name? Okay, Okonomi sauce. Um, it's basically the kind of thing that you would put on, oh gosh, what's this stuff called? It's this little um, food item that you make. Anyway, it's like a octopus sauce, I think, or squiddy. It might be octopus, but and if you read the back, it probably is just fake stuff anyway, because a lot of times they just try to make it taste like that. Um, but yeah, you basically put it on food. <laughs> Hope you can kind of see here. It's a little mayonnaise, and oh my gosh, I cannot remember the food item that you normally use that on, but I needed some, so I grabbed it. This is, again, kind of like those little cakes I just tried for you, the strawberry one, but this is like this cute little, I don't even know who this little guy is, but I just thought the packaging was adorable. The cakes are packaged all adorably. Hope you can kind of see it in there. Same kind of packaging. So, and chocolate flavor, of course, as you see, I assume. Because <laughs> sometimes you see that and you're like, oh, wait, it might be, see, it says white bean paste, which is interesting. So it looks like it has some chocolate, but might be based in a bean paste. Red bean paste, all that, it's all good. Uh, let me put this away so I can show you the last bag and then I'll bring the stuff over from Tokyo Central, which is just like cute stuff. Here. So, um, this is fun. So this is Lion brand coffee. You, know, you can find this in Hawaii. And I was like, oh cool, I shouldn't even bought the one in Hawaii, they have it here, you know? But they want like eight bucks for this, so this is something that does cost a little more. So this is vanilla macadamia, okay cool, seven ounces, eight dollars, you know, it looks like any other package that you would buy of coffee that runs, you know, eight, ten, fifteen dollars, whatever. <laughs> it depends on the brand, right? But I didn't realize to prepare it because I bought some in Hawaii in a huge bag. I just haven't used it yet. They want you to use two tablespoons per six ounces, okay? So usually I use one tablespoon per, per cup of coffee, which is basically it's supposed to be six ounces, right? But for us, a cup is like a mug, right? So you kind of adjust it to whatever your machine is doing. So I usually go one tablespoon per cup, per American size cup, whatever. So I'm like, two tablespoons? So when I opened this, I opened another one. I already went through half the thing. I only made one <laughs> carafe of coffee. But I guess that means it's about $4 a carafe, of a 10 uh, cup carafe. So, I mean, if you're going to go to like Starbucks, two bucks for a cup of coffee, at least you got 10 cups, right? But <laughs> I'm like, what? I didn't read that. So it's very not strong coffee, I guess, should I say. Um, so again, people adjust that. I mean, when I do one tablespoon, it's because I like my coffee to be really charged up. So I'm like, and some people do teaspoons, right, per cup. So two tablespoons per cup. So yeah, if you're buying this thing, it's going to be gone in a couple of carafes. So thank goodness I bought the huge one that was like $13 um, in Hawaii. And that, now I know next time I go to Hawaii, that will be a good thing to buy because the price is just better, right? <laughs> so kind of crazy. But I did pick up a couple of those. And then when I got home, I read that. I was like, what? <laughs> when I prepared this other one. But that was vanilla macadamia, and I think the other one I have is vanilla. And then I have some of the regular one. Um, just some furikake. It's just some good, yummy stuff that you can sprinkle on your rice, rice balls, onigiri, whatever it is that you want to sprinkle this on. So this one happens to be salmon and codro. And this one is a vegetable mix, which is actually really cute. So that's why I want to try this one. Warning, again, well, there we go. Uh, again, anything with seaweed is going to have that warning, though, so... Oh well. <laughs> and then this one is a pokey kaki, furikaki pokey seasoning. So it's chili spicy for poke, which I probably will never do because I don't know that I can get salmon or tuna and things like that fresh enough. But I do like the sound of a spicy furikaki, so that's why I got that. And these little cuties, I don't know what these are. I just thought they were adorable. Obviously, they're for children, and they just look really cute and yummy and sweet. And it does say it's a fried hard biscuit with flour, sugar, shortening, glucose, salt, soybean oil, baking powder, and soy lecithin and water. So uh, I'm sure it's just a yummy little biscuit. How cute are those? So that's it as far as the food, I think, unless I find something else when I walk away. I did buy a lot of prepared food at Mitsuwa and at Marukai, and they're both delicious. Like I said, the Mitsuwa ones didn't look as 
as pretty <laughs> the presentation but um or as like cut fancy like the the sushi rolls were like this big and like cut that thick i'm like who's <laughs> eating this but at uh marukai they were uh, more elegantly cut and created so anyway but let me go grab the other bag from tokyo central and i'll be right back and here in san diego in that same parking lot it's marukai marukai market tokyo central and miranda got herself a little bag of course and i'm like miranda <laughs> she loves purses and bags so she has some little toys in there already she grabbed some like shaped um erasers too which cost more than like a daiso but they were different so i let her pick one that was like a different style than what she normally has anyway already and that was fun for her <laughs> Now look at this. Of course, I'm like, Miranda had to get a bag. Well, I got one too, but like, this is the cup of noodles. How cute is this? They added like tote bags and like other kinds of lunch bags and all these cute things, but I thought this was the cutest shape and I think it's a lunch bag because it's kind of insulated and I thought that was really cute. So um, we grabbed those two. I mean, how adorable is that? And it has the outside pocket and the little pockets on the side. And then of course, the little straps, like a little backpack. Of course, you can use it as a backpack if you want. Or purse. It just is kind of odd because it is insulated. Oh, I grabbed one of these air fresheners. Everybody says these uh, Japanese air fresheners are really great for your car. This one just smelled so good. Um, it says Yuga Oriental Fla Floral. It was really pretty smelling. Look at that. Breezy air with green floral. And I'm going to put it in my truck because my truck, although I'm not like a field worker or a farm worker or anything, smells like a farm worker's truck. <laughs> I think it's just because it's old. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? It's a Tundra from 2011, so I mean, not super old, but we bought her when she was first came out, so I think we got her like in 2010. Uh, you can stick it down, obviously it has a double-sided tapey there. Um, I don't know if that's just there to protect it, but it looks pretty. I'm just going to put it under the seat. But basically, actually I'll just open it up, I can smell it already. But, oh, look at that. So it's just like a little jelly kind of stuff that is going to warm up, it's going to make your car smell good. And these were like 12 bucks, guys, so I got one, and I said, okay, I'll try it, if it's great, then... I'll know, <laughs> but I have the one uh, for now. And then this cute little look at this hand cream. They had it in different colors, and this is like a very light kind of purpley, like lavender gray color. I just thought it was so cute. It's called Souffle Vanilla. I couldn't open it. They were all packaged like this, like adorable. You guys know with Japanese like products, they have so many skincare items and everyone's like, oh, they're the best, you know, I don't know the difference between one or the other. So I grabbed this, we'll try it out. Uh, was not inexpensive. These things actually, all the food items I showed you were like, yeah, yeah, that's a great deal. These w were higher, obviously. Um, nail polish, I just grabbed two because I was like, these are so pretty. And the, they called them, it was basically like nude nail colors, like for a whole collection and they had like, 20 different shades that were all like super light shades and it reminded me of some polishes I used to get from QVC that were um, Joan Rivers she used to have nail polishes but they were all very light like very subdued classy colors so I think this is like the most color I think there was like a blue one but the rest of them were all very much like this and lighter maybe a little pinkier maybe a little more tan color you know so I grabbed two of them and I did grab the base and top coat just because I figure it probably works best with their own base and top coat so we'll see try those out soon um, oh, when I first walked in, there was a lady there sampling this, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding, because I had seen a video of somebody saying that the reason they go to Tokyo Central Marukai is to get this exact stuff. Mango and honey, and it almost looks like, um, like a face product. That's why, and the lady, I said, do you eat this? Because she had it on spoons, but I, I don't want to eat it. Because <laughs> that's why I didn't understand with the guy either. I'm like, is it tea? I don't... So yeah, you can just eat it, but it's honey with mango flavored for drinks, breads, and desserts. So obviously you can use it as a syrup or just whatever you want. If you want to just eat it, just eat it. But um, you basically can water it down and make like a tea. And this is the larger one because I figured it was really yummy. Might as well grab the big guy because the smaller one was only a few dollars less. It comes with lots of information. <laughs> I have no idea. It says Sugar Bee Garden. Okay, so just in case you want to check that out. Oh, there's a QR code. Let me leave that there for you. And then I'll try and see if it's not on Amazon because everybody says that's why they go there. So I'm assuming it's not widely available. Mango and honey. It, it was just yummy, you guys. I don't know what to tell you. So I just had to grab one. So there it is. That is something to eat. Um, these are some candles they had there, and they had them open so you can set, you know, smell them. And they had buy one, get one free, basically, so they're already packaged like this. Like, I grabbed two of Blooming Blue, because that smelled really nice. Um, the other one smelled nice, too, but this one, to me, was, like, great. So I grabbed a couple of these. And, let's see. Oh, some, um, rice ball shapers. 
Uh, I thought this one was just cute. Miranda's going to love that. She loves eating just a rice ball like that with a little bit of seaweed. So there you go. And then this one is a uh, onigiri maker or um, I guess it depends. They're showing it more like a... Uh, sushi kind of shape there but to me I use this to make onigiri or gimbap however it is that you want to call it or your style right it depends um, kind of interesting picture here bell tolls for me um, so basically you make the shape of the triangle that's why I'm like this is interesting but I usually put some rice then put my filling whatever it is put more rice and then you pop them out right? you kind of squish it down pop them out and then I wrap uh, seaweed uh, around that so and that's how I make onigiri, but <laughs> that's a very simple one. Actually, I have a video on how I make it, but again, you know, make it from a pro. You know, have to watch my videos for that. Um, these guys were at the front register, and they had a flavor. I can't remember what the flavor was that was already gone. I was like, ah, I would love that. So mint flavor and uh, kumquat flavor, but on the inside, if you read it, it says Satsuma, which is a, not a kumquat. That's a tangerine but or a mandarin. Uh, I grabbed two of this one because I figured it would probably be a yummy flavor. And uh, I tried one of these yesterday, <laughs> and my husband, and he's like, what's in that? Because, like, as soon as he tasted it, it kind of numbs your throat a little bit, but it tastes really good. And he's like, there must be something in there, like something special. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, no. And I'm, like, reading it. Everything in here is herbal. Like, well, anyway, herbal, right? Everything's everything's a plant. Well, there's some plants that he shouldn't be eating. Or <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, peppermint herb, jujube. I mean, or jujube, however people want to pronounce it. Japanese honeysuckle leaf. I mean, German chamomile, linden flower. I'll leave it right there for you guys to read. It's all very natural and herbal. And, yeah, something about it just works so well these if you can find these or if I can find them on there I'll link them but my husband was like I'm not gonna eat any more of those because he doesn't want to get in trouble I'm like they're not like that so it just has a really good numbing good feel on your throat like I don't anyway so he just thinks they work too well there must be something special in it <laughs> so there you go I think they're great so I have no problem consuming those um okay a couple two more things so these little bags I had seen all over Hawaii um these aren't as stylized as the ones I saw over there. So like I had ordered some or grabbed some from um, the Musubi Cafe, this little company that sells uh, Musubis and they were really cute and they're very much related to Musubi type things. So this one, even though it has a Musubi on there, it's just more generic Hawaii, which is cute. Just a little lunch bag. It's just a few dollars. These are like three or four bucks. Um, and then this, so this is the last thing, one of the last things I grabbed there, <laughs> you know, I'm going to put my hand here just in case YouTube thinks it's something. It says, uh, body scrub. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, cause I've been really into exfoliating. And I thought, well, this is good because it's, it wasn't expensive. It's kind of a big, uh, item and I can use it. Right. But I was like, well, what's the scent? Cause it doesn't really say uh, anything about a scent. So I opened it. And of course, when I went to go open it, it clicked and I was like, ah, so I actually opened it, opened it. I'm like, well, whatever it smells like now, I'm going to buy it because I don't want to put it back and I, I would feel bad. Right. Cause of me, that they can't sell it, but it smells amazing. I'm telling you, it's like a citrus, kind of like a tangerine. Um, and like clean, not floral at all. It just smells really super clean, like something you would want in your shower because it's just gonna like make everything smell good. So in the shower, I think it's really lovely. So uh, I'll probably grab more of this, but I just took the one to see how it works out. And then uh, if I like it, I'll go grab more because this was, I don't know, like seven bucks. Um, <laughs> I like how they show you where you can exfoliate your body. It's like all the body. <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I know this is something I don't typically do, but you know, if you go to, um, I was in the Mexican market to like, a, a market, you know, an Asian market, there's lots of fun things. Try them out. Um, you know, uh, that's what I do. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll link whatever I can make, possibly find, um, in the description box and hopefully you'll have a market nearby that you can go check some of the things out. Yeah, All right, guys, go, let me see at the real quick, one. show you kind of what I was saying. So this is a uh, Marukai market. It looks very much like the, um, uh, what's that place called? Don Quixote. Oh, and you know what that reminds me of this freezer section. I bought all kinds of frozen, like delicious ice creams. And I even got a uh, Portuguese sausage from Hawaii there, but they were like $9, which I think in Hawaii, they're like $2. <laughs> so, eh, you know, but if I'm not in Hawaii, so we got to pay for that. But yeah, I mean, look at this, like the store looks crazy. I love how all the decorations and there's things everywhere from the top to the bottom of the store. And then let me see. Oh, there's some of the, um, sushi and things that they have there at Marukai. Uh, I didn't record the ones at the other market because uh, I recorded this so my son can see because he didn't go in the store with me at this point. And like all these bento boxes and literally they're like between five and eight dollars like crazy. Um, this one is from um, 
uh, Mitsua. It was their bento special. That is a little egg, like a tamago. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And the potato salad, amazing. This, I was like, it looks like katsu chicken. I did say it was chicken. It had some kind of tartar sauce on the top, and it was katsu chicken, so it's crispy, but you eat it cold. And it was kind of dipped in something that was like a little bit sweet. I don't know what it was, but it was so good. This is like the best thing I've eaten, <laughs> like, ever. Honestly, well, I just said that as far as these other cookies, but as far as like a bento box goes that you eat cold, it was amazing. Oh my gosh. And I don't eat food cold because I just, that's not my thing. And that was really good. This is a bento from, uh, this is the one from Marukai, I believe. Yeah. So I reheated this though, because this one is the kind that you warm up. So there are some that you eat cold and some that you warm up. I guess you can do whatever you want. Obviously you're the one eating it, but I did warm up the rice and then I crisp this in my little uh, oven because I like it to be crispy again. And then it has this, I think this lotus root. At first I thought it was loofah, but then I'm like, oh, somebody had said it's a lotus root. So good. That little salad and like little pickles. And this is my husband's. It was basically the same thing, but this is from uh, Mitsua, and it is curry, so you just heat up the whole thing. But I did crisp up his chicken also in the little uh, oven, and then heat up the rest just in the microwave. And again, uh, some of those were a little more expensive. Oh, that's a picture of my pozole. That's something I cooked. <laughs> But um, just really good, you guys. I, I can't impress upon you enough. Try it out. Try them out. Uh, all right, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.